Hey, what's going on YouTube? Hope you're all having an amazing day. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to create different styles when you're trying to achieve grungy look in your designs. So without any further ado, let's get to it. So before we start, I gotta mention that the image resolution and the size is kind of important because later when we are going to enter some numbers, depending on your size and the resolution, those numbers might change. So my document is uh, 3000 by 3000 with uh, 300 DPI resolution. So I'm just gonna drag and drop my image. So basically this is the image I'm going to work with in this tutorial. So on the background, I'm just gonna click on it and hit command I to invert it. So I'm going to show you different styles and we're going to start from the easy one. So the first one, I'm just gonna hit command G, group this and I'm just gonna name it effect one. And now I'm just going to choose my image, go to the filter, camera raw filter. And from here, I would just bring up my texture. So as you can see, would have much more detail when you just move this slider to the right so i'm just gonna crank it up and also my clarity to around 80 or 90 and i would just hit ok and from here i'm just going to open up threshold from down here or you can simply go to the layer new adjustment layer and open up a threshold and as you can see we are now having a very basic threshold effect but i'm just going to make it much much more better so as you can see if i just turn off this camera raw filter you will have the most basic uh threshold effect it's like when you just open up a layer the threshold layer above your image but with this camera raw added we are getting much much more details from here i can hold on option and just click and drag this camera raw filter up to duplicate it. And as you can see now, we are having a lot more details. You can just duplicate it a couple of times depending on the details you want and your image. But I believe two of them are now good for this image. And from here, and from here we can do a couple of things. So the first effect I'm going to look for is with the Gaussian blur. So by choosing your image, go to the uh, filter, blur and Gaussian blur. And from here, so if I just bring it down, you can see this was our image with the threshold effect and with those camera filters. So if I just bring it up, we will lose some details and it will just connect some of these parts that we have more shadows. So as you can see, this is giving us a cool effect. So I'm just gonna do a round re and this is basically our first uh, effect. So as you can see, without the effects, and then the threshold is added. And with the smart filters being turned on, we are now having this cool threshold effect. So for the second one, I'm just gonna duplicate this one. And I'm just gonna turn off this layer. I'm just gonna name this one effect two. Just gonna open it up. So for the second one, I'm just gonna delete the Gaussian blur. So from here, I would just delete the smart filter. And we are now having those two camera raw filters. But from here, I'm just going to add a half tone effect. So make sure that your for, uh, foreground color is black. Go to the filter, filter gallery. And from here, just make sure that you go to the sketch and choose half tone pattern. From here, I would normally put the contrast on one or two, and I would just put the size depending on how big of a dots I want. I put around two to five. So let's just see how uh, the number two looks like. So I'm just gonna click OK. So now you, you can see this filter gallery has been added. So this is uh, this is actually without the filter gallery and this is with the filter gallery so that you can see now we are kind of having a pattern here so so now what I can do is that I can just double click on this filter gallery here and bring the size to around five so if I just bring it up you can see these dots are becoming much much more bigger so I'm just gonna put it around five or six hit okay and now as you can see you can see much more 
details and dots here. I'm just gonna select on my threshold and I'm just gonna change it a little bit. So this is the second effect. So now let's just compare these two together. This is effect two and this is effect one. You can see it's completely different effects here. So let's go for the third one. Just gonna duplicate that one more time. Make that one invisible. Just gonna name it effect three. So this one is a little bit different. So I'm just gonna clear the small filters. So now we are just having our main image. And for now, I'm just gonna delete the threshold. So now we are going to start with the image that we had at first. So here, I'm just gonna create a new layer and name it grain. And I'm just going to go to the edit, fill, and choose 50% gray. And after that, I will go to the filter, pixelate, and punctualize. In here, I would normally choose number around five, five or six to have bigger dots. So now if I just zoom in, you can see the details on this punctualized effect. And after that, I would just change the blending mode into the overlay. So now we are having that effect. And after that, what I'm going to do is to just open up a threshold effect. But this time I'm going to change the blending mode of the threshold effect because I'm just need my threshold effect to affect the shadows and dark areas. So I would just simply change the blending mode to the darken or multiply. I'm gonna choose multiply. So now, as you can see, this is with and this is without. So if you just check out these areas around the eyes, you can see the dark areas are only affected by the threshold effect. So now I can just simply change this and make my image darker a little bit. So this is our third effect that you can have some kind of a colorized grunge effect by using threshold. I'm just gonna name this one also effect four. So for the last one, I'm just gonna delete everything again. So this is our basic image. I'm just going to add a pattern and I'm just going to choose this pattern here. You can also download this pattern on my Telegram channel for free. The link is in the description. So make sure that you'll check that out. So I'm just gonna choose that pattern. I'm just gonna put the scale on 100 for now. And I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay. And after that, I'm just going to add a texture, a kind of a plastisol texture that I got from Darren Studio. So let's just add that. So I have added this texture that I got and I'm just gonna change the blending mode to also multiply here. And then I'm just gonna place it below my pattern. And on top of the pattern, I'm just gonna add a threshold. And from here, I don't like the dots that are, you know, dots, dots. <laughs> So I'm just gonna add a level on top of my halftone pattern. I'm just gonna click on this icon or I would just simply hold on option to just link them together. And I'm just going to change the levels. So you can see when I change it around, I will have bigger and much more bold dots. So I came up with something like this. And you can just here simply click on your pattern and change the scale of the dots. So you can just make it bigger and bigger or you can make them smaller. So I'm just gonna work around to see what number fits best. 89 is actually good. I'm just gonna make the pattern a little bit smaller. Like so, and we are actually good to go. So now I'm just going to compare all the effects together. But before that, I just added a gradient map on top of all the effects so that you can see this, you know, with uh, a nice color. I'm just gonna change it a little bit. Maybe yes, maybe no. This is nice actually. So let's start with the first one. This was the first effect that we got here. And this is our second one with much more details and scratches around the image. This is the third one. So this is basically, if I just turn off my gradient map, you would also have the colors from your main image, but I like it a lot more with my gradient map. I can also add 
here add another color a white so now you can see we are having much more seeker look here so if i just turn it off and on you can see how good it looks and also for the last one this is the effect that i came up with you know with all the passes all textures the scratch textures and the big dots around the subject so that's it with today's tutorial guys if you enjoyed it make sure to like and subscribe and peace